Does print on demand still work? That's a question I get all the time. And according to Printful here in their 95 print on demand statistics and trends you should know in 2023 blog post, they show that according to research, print on demand is expected to grow significantly over the next decade. I will put a link to this article in the pinned comment of this video if you wanna check it out. Basically, they talk about that the growth rate of the print on demand business model is going to be about 26% over the next decade. They say that by the year 2030, it's going to reach almost $40 billion. And keep in mind, in 2021, it was valued at just about $5 billion. So basically, Printful is saying that print on demand as a business model is going to continue to grow at a very rapid rate. I bring this up to answer the question that yes, print on demand still works. And in this video today, I want to sort of bust a myth that you need to have hundreds of designs or dozens of designs that you are uploading on a daily basis to have a any success at all. What if I told you that if you made just a handful of sales a day, you could make thousands of dollars in profit per month? Now, I am definitely no math whiz, but let's say that I was selling a product making $20 in profit, right? Let's say that I did that and I made five sales per day, right? That's going to be $100 in profit. And if you times 100 by 30 days in a month, you get $3,000 in profit, folks, with just five sales a day. And ultimately, my point in actually showing you that on paper is not to make this appear to be any sort of a get rich quick type of thing. Instead, it's to try and motivate you to go after getting some of this massive print on demand growth. I'm trying to make it clear to you the idea that you can have a profitable print on demand store that makes you a great profit margin with just a few sales per day. If you have watched my channel in the past, you have likely seen me talk a lot about different strategies that I've used in my print on demand stores and products that I would recommend you to try and sell. And if this is your first time here, hey Joe, it's folks here. Make sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel to see some of those strategies. And if you want to go through my course, there is a link down in the description. Inside, you'll get access to over 30 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to actually build yourself a POD store. The best part is it is completely free and there's a link down in the description. So basically what I want to do in this video today is simplify the marketing process that you would use to try to make five sales a day and ultimately create yourself a profitable print-on-demand store. When it comes to selling print-on-demand products online, there's really three ways of actually doing that. The first is by utilizing organic traffic. The second is by actually paying for some traffic with something like a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad. And then the third thing is actually using someone else and their traffic, like an influencer, to promote your items. To start here, what we'll talk about is organic. Now, let's say that I had a print-on-demand store where I was selling gardening related items you know different things for people that like to grow vegetables or people that are interested in farming or things like that what I could do is create myself an Instagram account like this here for the gardening niche and I could go all over the internet and I could find different pictures of really cool gardens like this here I could post them on my Instagram and I could give the garden owner credit and I could ultimately begin to create a really cool page where I'm posting gardening related photos and videos and you know maybe I find someone on TikTok that has a massive cucumber so I repost it on my account and ultimately I create an account that lots of people in the gardening niche want to follow. What I could then do is begin to use those followers as my audience to basically bring people to my website to my Shopify store to check out my print on demand products and again I could do that by first and foremost finding really awesome pictures of people's gardens like this or someone here with a massive cat and then what I could do is I could slowly start to promote print on demand products that I am selling. You can see here on this post, they basically showed a product that they sell, right? They tell people to visit the store link on the bio of the account. If we scroll back up to the top here of this account, you'll see right in their bio, they've got a link for you to go and buy this. And this is the first way that you can begin to generate traffic to your store and ultimately get on the path of trying to make five sales a day. The second thing that you would wanna do is something like this here. These are examples of real Facebook ads that are currently being ran by a store called Wanderprints. You can see in their ads here, they are showing pictures of different signs that they've created and flags that they've created for people that like to garden. You can see here, I'm looking inside of the Facebook ads library where they've actually started these ads on August 22nd of 2022. As I'm making this video, today is, I believe, May 11th, which means these ads have been running for like nine months, which means these ads are 
you're likely bringing them a few sales at least per day. And ultimately, if you get yourself in a position, again, where you start with organic traffic, where you're creating a social media page and posting cool content, and then also promoting your products, and now dabbling in paid advertising, both on Facebook and on Instagram, you can begin to get even more people to your store. And this is the part that I think is just absolutely amazing with print on demand, is that you can come into Facebook and you can type in something like vegetable gardening here, or you could even look at a whole bunch of suggested keywords inside of Facebook. Everything from organic farming to backyard gardening to gardener, organic food, house and garden magazine, plant nursery, right? All of these different interests and keywords that are available to us to basically show ads to people that are interested in these things. I don't know about you, but I think it's an amazing thing that as a print on demand store owner, I can build a store. I can put a couple of designs that I made on it for a specific niche. And then I can go into Facebook and I can target people with an ad that are actually interested in those things. To me, that is an amazing thing. And that is part two of your marketing plan to actually try and generate five sales a day. Now imagine for a moment that I am someone on social media that has a following of people that like to grill and barbecue and you have a print on demand store and you sell print on demand aprons. Imagine if you could send me one and at the beginning of every one of my videos, I could be wearing the apron like this that you sent me and then I can tell my followers who love to grill and who love to barbecue that if they want to get a really cool custom apron with avocados on it or maybe something else that you do with the apron, I could tell them about your account, about your Instagram, about your store and they could go and check it out. This is called influencer marketing and this is the third way that you should be generating traffic to your store. And right here is an actual example of an influencer post that I found inside of the gardening niche, right? So continuing with the trend here. Now, this is not super unique. This is pretty common. You could likely find lots of stuff like this, but basically this guy here has an account that's all about gardening and a store that sells the metal sign product reached out to him, obviously sent him a sample, allowed him to name his garden. As you can see here in his caption, he wrote a huge thank you to the wonderful team at Mood & Co for reaching out to see if I would like to name my garden and get a personalized gifted sign. So basically he's telling his followers, if you want to get your own sign, go check them out. And he's conveniently tagged their account right here. Someone can click that and go to their store and ultimately order one of their own signs. And like I said, the point of this video today was twofold. First was to basically show you that yes, print on demand is growing. And in order for you to actually have a profitable POD store, you don't need to be making hundreds and hundreds of designs and you know making dozens of sales on a daily basis. Ultimately, you can make just a few sales a day. Showed you the math here on this paper. And you can ultimately do very, very well. I would advise you to take a look at this article here. Like I said, I will put a link to this in the pinned comment of this video, but it's clear that print on demand is growing. And if you are not doing some things to get traffic to your store, mainly the three things I talked about today, you're probably not going to be generating any sales at all. If you're in the process of just sort of getting your ideas together, um, like I said in the beginning, I have a course, it's free. There's over 30 videos inside of it that will show you the process to get started working on your print on demand store. So that way ultimately you can get to the point where you are making one sale a day or two sales a day or five sales a day or whatever it is that you end up doing. Hopefully, basically like I said, what I'm trying to do with this video is demystify POD. There's really three ways that you get traffic to your store. I showed you them today. And ultimately you don't need that many sales to really change your life. Honestly, if you were just making one or two sales a day, that's hundreds in profit per month. And to most people that would likely be life changing. I know for me, if someone was gonna show up on my doorstep with a check every month for a couple hundred bucks, I would be pretty excited. And ultimately that's just fine if that's what you achieve with POD. Hopefully that'll make sense. That's the end of the video, folks. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, let me know your thoughts uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.